Now let's navigate to the cloud shell so I can create the second resource group. Just give some time to load the cloud shell. And here let's navigate to the resource groups. Now the cloud shell ready. Let's clear the screen. And then I will create here the second resource group which will hold all the rest of the resources. Let's refresh here. Now we can see this is the second resource group. And then I will create the Postgres server on Azure. And as we can see here, I will have a username and I will have a password that I will use them to connect to the Postgres on Azure from the Linux machine later. So this will take some time. Just get back to the resource group now and refresh. Let's have a refresh on the browser. So we can see the Postgres on Azure created. Let's navigate that. So if I go for the connection security, we can see that the firewall rules is turned off for Azure resources. So I can, of course, turn it on from here, but I prefer the command because part of the command that I can do that as a part of the pipeline later. So it's very important to use the command. So I will here put the rule for creating the firewall rule. And as we can see, all the IPs is zero, which means that allow Azure resources. This will take some time. Now, if I navigate back to here and just refresh here, we can see that it turned it on now. You can watch this video for more information about Kubernetes cluster, how to deploy Docker image to Azure Kubernetes service, and how to configure CI CD pipelines for an end to end development and deployment scenario. Connect to the Postgres on Azure. As we can see, just PSQL. And here I will use the username and the server name. When it's prompted, I will type the password. So here, prompt me for the password. I enter the password and, and now I'm connected to the Postgres on Azure from the Linux machine. So the first step is to create a sample database. This is just the sample database that I will use from the application Ruby on Rails to connect to that sample database. So now the database created and then I will create the username with the password. Now and then grant this user privilege to create now it's granted, then let's exit the Postgres 